I am back out here with the Arrows RC Pioneer 620 micro bush, uh, brushless bush plane. Easy for me to say. I've got one of my old tired 2S 300 milliamp hour lipos in it again. Um, got it in safe mode. Let's make sure. Yeah. Make sure everything is working as it should. And my transmitter is beeping on me already. Okay, so I was just kind of curious with these uh, flotation tires that it has on it, these big terrain tires on it, if I could take off from this dirt lane out here. I've got a little bit of a headwind now going toward the road. So, you know, I don't have many planes that I could take off out here from the ground. So I just, I'm kind of curious. I just want to see if I can get it in the air from the ground. I got it in safe mode. I've got my timer set for five minutes, so let's let's see if we can get it in the air. How about that, guys? Awesome! I can't believe it can take off from this rough terrain out here. And um, one thing I was curious about is if the um, transmitter that comes with it if it would remember my trim on my elevator and it does it did remember my trim i didn't i didn't adjust any trim on it before i put it in the air and it's maintaining its attitude in uh, safe mode just fine so that is awesome of being able to take off and, and rough terrain like this is out here and this little dirt lane that i just took off of is bumpier than the main lane and I have very few planes that I can successfully get in the air taken off from that lane so I typically hand launch just about everything so that you know it doesn't veer into the scrub when I'm trying to take off you know from the ground I've had that happen too many times and so I just hand launch everything but it is pretty cool to know that this one will take off from this little dirt lane out here so let's bring it back around i want to see if i could do a touch and go with it out here on this dirt lane let's see can we do a touch and go like keep it over the lane ah <laughs> that is too much fun like i said you can have a lot of fun with these little micro planes um, even in safe mode especially this one because it is so darn maneuverable let's see if we can do a touch and go again check that out that is awesome i am loving the landing gear that they put on this little plane that is sweet okay so let's see if we could do that again Make sure it wasn't a fluke. Ha! <laughs> I hope you guys could see that. I need to back up a little bit so I get it in frame. That is too cool. I'm loving this little plane. All right, let's see if we get it back over the target again with my terrible depth perception. Do you see that? That uh, is too cool. It has plenty of power for doing that. I'm loving it. Okay. Getting a little breezy out here. Let's see. Ah. <laughs> oh, man. Dust in my throat. That is too cool. Isn't that a cool little plane? Uh-oh, I think my little 300 milliamp hour lipo is giving up the ghost. It is. Can we make it? Can we make it? We made it! <laughs> I told you it was an old, old, tired. How much time did I have left? Oh, man. I only got 
what, three and a half, four minutes out of that old tired lipo? Well, if you have a newer lipo, like I said, that is one of the very first ones of those 300 milliamp error lipos I ever purchased. So, um, I definitely won't be setting my timer for five minutes anymore with one of those in it. Let's see how, let's see how little voltage I have left in this. Turn off my transmitter here. Let's see. Hope I didn't destroy the lipo. Well, I guess it's old enough. I should probably replace it. Seven. 3.3. 3.6. So, yeah, the cells are not even depleting at the same rate. 3.4, 3.6. So, yeah, that's an old, old battery. But anyway, is that fun or is that fun? All right, so uh, I, I don't know what kind of batteries I've got left. I'll, I'll try another one of my 400 milliamp hour lipos and put in it so we can do some more fun stuff with it. But I am having a blast with this plane and um, taking off from the ground out here and doing touch and goes and landing out on this little dirt lane is absolutely awesome. I love the landing gear on this. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so the lipo I have in it this time is an old, old, old 2S 400 milliamp hour lipo that weighs, I don't know, about a gram more than the stock battery. Let's make sure everything's working the way it should. Which my transmitter's still beeping at me. I'd like to disable that. Alright. Let me not forget to set my timer. Let's see if we can take off on this dirt road again before somebody comes through that is too much fun I'm loving these big wheels and tires okay so started my timer let's see if we can get it in the air I'll back up a little bit so I have it in frame check that out man that's like a stole plane it, it is in the air in no time flat let's see if I keep the sun behind me a little bit and yeah it's definitely this battery is a little bit heavier than the stock battery i think and it is definitely keeping my trim on the elevator so that is good to know that the transmitter will maintain your trim setting you know powering it on and powering it off each time so i've had transmitters with these ready to fly planes that did not do that and i would have to put in Try to remember to put in the same amount of trim every time that I turn the transmitter back on. So that's cool. <laughs> this, this plane is so much fun. Like I said, even in... Look at that, it's pretty slow. Even in... Safe mode. That is too cool. So I'm not having any problem flying this with the stock transmitter. Of course, if you could fly it with a, if you could fly it with a hobby grade transmitter, this one, this, the transmitter that comes with it is pretty good quality for a ready to fly plane. I have, I have to, I have to give them kudos for that. But um, it's not the same as flying it with a hobby grade transmitter. You've got a lot more resolution on the sticks on this transmitter than any ready to fly transmitter I've seen so far but it's not it doesn't have as much resolution as a hobby grade transmitter so that way you would be able to fine tune it better with a hobby grade transmitter you could adjust the dual rates and the expo and just make it extremely smooth you know if you could if you could do that Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is such a fun little microplane though. Arrows RC just did an excellent job with this plane. Okay, so um, let's see if we could do a touch and go with it again. Since I'm not I'm not really good at those. Be good practice. Good practice. Okay, so I'm gonna try to back up so that we can so it's actually in frame. Whoa, I was almost in the scrub on that one. 
I told you I wasn't very good at it. All right, let's see if we get a little better one over here. Whee! That is so maneuverable. Okay, let's slow it down. Slow it down. Look at that. Man, that is so cool. It has got a ton of power. If you could put flaps on this, <laughs> I mean, it would just take off immediately. And you could you can already land it in such a short distance and take off in such a short distance. But man, if, if you could put flaps on this plane, it would just lift right off the ground. Look at that, guys. That's that's in safe mode. That's in safe mode. Look how maneuverable that is. In safe mode. Whee! Isn't that awesome? Getting a little breezier out here now. Whee! <laughs> this is so much fun and I you know for what this plane is look at that for what this plane is and what you can do with it um, I think it's at a very good price point that's just my opinion but I I am going to get a lot more fun out of this plane than the amount of money that I paid for it assuming I don't you know crash it but the gyro is pretty rock solid. When you make tight turns, you do need to put a little back pressure in the elevator. Even in safe mode. But, um, absolute blast. Easy to fly. Even with, you know, with this stock transmitter. I mean, it's awesome. Okay, so there's my flight timer. Let's bring it back around and land it. Look at that. Easy. I can just throw it around like crazy. Ta da! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna shut off my timer. Now, I just, you guys have seen me fly in dy dynamic mode and the aerobatics that you can do with it. But I also wanted to really demonstrate this in safe mode quite a bit because um, they're marketing it as a beginner plane. So I wanted to show just how maneuverable this little plane is in safe mode. I mean, that is. I've never seen a plane in safe mode that was that maneuverable. Um, so that is absolutely awesome. And I love the fact that it has these big flotation tires on it. Just loads of fun. All right, so um, links to it will be in the show notes. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the air.